The J-35 fighter jet represents a significant leap forward in China's military aviation capabilities, marking the nation's entry into the realm of fifth-generation stealth fighters alongside its more established counterpart, the J-20. Developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, a subsidiary of the state-owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China, the J-35 is designed primarily for carrier-based operations, although land-based variants also exist. Its emergence signals China's ambition to project air power far beyond its borders, particularly in contested maritime regions like the South China Sea and the Western Pacific. The aircraft embodies a blend of advanced stealth technology, modern avionics and multi-role combat functionality, positioning it as a formidable asset in both defensive and offensive military strategies. Visually, the J-35 bears a strong resemblance to the American F-35 Lightning II, particularly in its overall shape and canopy design. Though it is not a direct copy, it features a twin-engine configuration, which differentiates it from the single-engine F-35 and offers advantages in redundancy and thrust, especially critical for carrier takeoffs and landings. The airframe incorporates extensive use of radar-absorbent materials and carefully contoured surfaces to minimize its radar cross-section, a hallmark of fifth-generation stealth aircraft. The engine inlets are designed with serpentine ducts to shield the turbine blades from radar detection, and the exhaust nozzles are shaped to reduce infrared signature, enhancing survivability against both radar-guided and heat-seeking missiles. In terms of dimensions, the J-35 is slightly smaller than the J-20 but larger than the F-35C, the carrier variant of the American stealth fighter. Its wings are foldable, a necessary feature for storage aboard aircraft carriers with limited hangar space. The landing gear is reinforced to withstand the high impact forces of carrier landings, and the tailhook system is engineered for reliable arrested recovery on flight decks. These design choices underscore the aircraft's primary role as a naval fighter, capable of operating from China's growing fleet of aircraft carriers, including the Type 003 Fujian, which features an electromagnetic catapult system that will allow the J-35 to launch with heavier payloads and greater fuel loads. Performance-wise, the J-35 is powered by two WS-21, or potentially the more advanced WS-19 turbofan engines, both of which are domestically produced. While exact thrust figures remain classified, Analysts estimate that the engines provide sufficient power for supercruise, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, though this capability has not been officially confirmed. The aircraft is expected to have a top speed in the range of Mach 1.8 and a combat radius exceeding 1 200 kilometers, depending on mission profile and payload configuration. Its internal weapons bay can carry a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, preserving its stealth profile during initial phases of combat. External hardpoints are available for non-stealth missions, allowing for greater weapons loadout at the expense of reduced radar evasion. Avionics and sensor systems are central to the J-35's combat effectiveness. It is equipped with an advanced active electronically scanned array radar, capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously and engaging them with precision-guided weapons. Complementing the radar is a distributed aperture system that provides 360-degree situational awareness, alerting pilots to incoming threats from any direction. An infrared search and track system enhances the jet's ability to detect and engage enemy aircraft without emitting radar signals, a crucial advantage in electronic warfare environments. The cockpit features a large area touchscreen display and a helmet-mounted display system that projects critical flight and targeting information directly into the pilot's field of view streamlining decision-making in high-tempo combat scenarios. The J-35 is designed as a true multi-role platform. In air superiority missions, it can carry PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles and PL-10 short-range infrared-guided missiles, giving it both beyond visual range and dogfighting capabilities. For strike missions, it can deploy precision-guided bombs and anti-ship missiles such as the YJ-91, enabling it to threaten surface vessels and land-based targets. Its electronic warfare suite includes jamming pods and countermeasures to disrupt enemy radar and communications, further increasing its survivability in contested airspace. Network-centric warfare capabilities allow the J-35 to share real-time data with other platforms, including AWACS aircraft, naval vessels, and ground command centers, creating a cohesive and responsive combat network.
From a strategic perspective, the J-35 fills a critical gap in China's naval aviation, while the J-20 excels as a long-range air dominance fighter for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. It was not originally designed for carrier operations. The J-35, by contrast, is purpose-built for the maritime environment, offering the plan with a stealthy, survivable, and versatile fighter that can escort carrier strike groups, conduct reconnaissance, and strike high-value targets deep inland. Its deployment aboard China's carriers will significantly enhance the reach and lethality of the nation's Blue Water Navy, challenging the long-standing dominance of the United States and its allies in the Indo-Pacific region. Development of the J-35 began in the early 2010s under the FC-31 program, initially conceived as an export-oriented stealth fighter. However, as China's carrier ambitions grew, the program shifted focus toward a domestic naval variant. Early prototypes faced criticism over engine performance and stealth integration, but subsequent iterations have demonstrated marked improvements. Flight testing has been extensive, with carrier compatibility trials already underway. The aircraft is expected to enter active service within the next few years, with initial operational capability likely coinciding with the commissioning of the Type 003 carrier. Internationally, the J-35 may also serve as an export product, appealing to nations seeking affordable fifth-generation capabilities without reliance on Western or Russian suppliers. Countries like Pakistan, Egypt, and Algeria have shown interest in Chinese military hardware, and the J-35 could become a strategic alternative to the F-35, which is restricted from sale to many U.S. adversaries or partners with strained relations. However, export success will depend on proven performance, reliability, and the availability of support infrastructure. In conclusion, the J-35 fighter jet is more than just another addition to China's arsenal. It is a symbol of the country's rapid advancement in aerospace, engineering, and its